Spider-Man. Someone said Bishop. <laughs> wow. Her chest. I was wondering what this place was. <laughs> I took a picture of people playing chess. <laughs> That's Emily's tree. This is bad. You made it. I thought you said this was a startup. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less this, but my dad was the one who, you know, he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker. <laughs> so, what do you think? It's a far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. <laughs> and now that you're on board, this place is really going to start cooking. Particle accelerator. Uh, Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh, really? But I was going to give him a tour. Let him decide for himself. All right. You know, Seeing you boys together <laughs> again. True. <laughs> right then. Have fun. <laughs> I heard particle accelerator. I was like, what's why hey, do I know up. this? <laughs> Let's go exploring. This ain't DC. So the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Harry, this place, right? Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you... Got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment, but when I got <sighs> out, I made a few changes. Like what? Diverted my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission. To heal the world. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is? Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees. Or, to be more precise, on bee predators. Ready to talk to Dr. Young? You must be Peter. So nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline. Primarily due to a significant predator, the carnivorous bee wolf. So <laughs> we developed an innovative way to help the Holy bees. Want to see how? The goddamn bee wolf, man. Whoa, this is cool. These little drones are essentially There's... bee bodyguards that we're training to detect and attack bee wolves, aka bee killer wasps. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Do you see those little holographic eagles? The better you are at shooting those, the better our drones get at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves away, not hurt them. Yep, you're done, Peter. Boom. A very productive session. We got great data. Okay, flying home. Welcome to Antipolis. Sick, dude. If those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow. I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. Fire. I've got so much more to show you, Pete. You're selling me, Harry. You're selling me. Hey. You have a sec? Up ahead is the medical research. Kind of busy, Miles. Call you in a bit, bro. Using protons instead of X-rays, with better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. 
That's the idea. <laughs> Harry, a moment, if you please. Oh, shit. Uh, any chance I can wait a sec? Dr. Connor is dead. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. <laughs> I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh, yes. It's a shame <laughs> about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. Didn't remember him at all, did you? The <laughs> doctor is the lizard. Yeah, I believes in second chances. Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call, but uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. Ah, so it's like after he's been the lizard. Was he in the last game? I don't remember. So that was crazy. I don't think so. It seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Seems inspired by some of Otto's work without the hardwiring problems. Wonder if Dr. Connors has used this. Though after that lizard rampage, he may be done testing his work on himself. This is the original prototype from Otto's lab. This would have been crime scene evidence. Wonder how it ended up here. Yes, Norman Osborne is acquiring everything. Uh, I'm calling it. I feel like Harry's gonna die at the end of this, and it's gonna be like reverse Sam Raimi Spider Man. Norman Osborne is gonna see that and dedicate everything to killing Spider Man and becoming the Green Goblin to do so. The origins of life on recent discoveries of meteorites containing organic molecules considered the building blocks Venom. of life may provide a drones. Yeah, uh, doing a little cross collaboration between the energy lab and the agricultural lab. Ultra light drones using the new battery tech for crop monitoring. Very cool. Do they collect crop data too? They will by the time we're done with them. That's awesome. Thanks. We're going to have to fight a swarm of bee drones, dude. <laughs> I already know. Yeah. Hey, whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. Particle accelerator. I'm gonna be the. F you really have a particle accelerator? Spider flash. We use it to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but. Proton cannon. <laughs> Where are we heading now? Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. So put your way back helmet on and think back. Even before high school. To middle school. Okay. Now, do you know the... Hang on. Yes. You're a popular guy. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. Not you were saying? Just yet. You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Gregor Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah, I think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Exactly. So, Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey, when you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? No, I didn't. Oh, you have to. It's seriously one of my favorite spots in the whole building. It's so calming, and we're doing cool research inspired by the cellular structure of the koi fish's scales. I'll be sure to go check that out. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. Yes. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Would you like to see this test bed? Okay. Mm. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize mm. optimal qualities. 
For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal is to maximize growth. Why don't you practice on this? Okay. Match the base pairs to incorporate as many growth genes as you can. That'll be a plant that can feed the world. Success! Okay, I think I get the hang of it. Great. Now you're ready to try the real thing. This is a plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. Corporations patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly criticized. But ours are open source, developed for sustainability instead of financial gain. So smart. Interesting. Success! Success! One step closer yes. to the world. Right. Nice work. What is this? Beautiful work, Peter. Boom. Success. Yes. Using yes. this technology, we're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Holy. Wow. I know a rooftop you could use for a real world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. Might be my favorite. It's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show-offy. Your office. Or is it our office? Harry, now remember, the things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. But don't decide just yet. Not till you've seen this last thing. Okay. Come on, where's your badge? You'll need it to get in. Uh, where did I put it? Don't tell me you lost it. Nope, false alarm. Right here. Go ahead. Swipe. Wow. fucked up Harry I mean it's a great gesture right but it's like pulling at the heartstrings so amazing it's perfect really it's just things are really hectic right now when I was in treatment all I could think about was what would I do if I survived and I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet is in trouble. And it's my responsibility to save it. If you join me, there's so much more that we can do. I mean, we both know you're the smarter one. Make my mom and Nate proud, huh? It's amazing. But there's one thing. Can I move my desk over there? I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, man, it's going to end terribly. <laughs> I'm going to need a little time to transition out of my tutoring job. Of course. Take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? Coney Island later, yeah? You bet. <laughs> Sick, dude.
heck, dude? Oh, hey, I forgot to tell you. Some of our researchers have field experiments set up around the city. If you have time, check them out. I've sent you the locations, and your badge will grant you access. All right, I'll swing by.